Okay, now, um, as y'all know, I just bought another light bar up there. It's pretty cold out here right now, but I'm trying to get this light bar hooked up before uh, the storm comes tonight. So I got it kind of rigged right now, but I'm going to try and hook it up correctly so it doesn't go out on me during the storm. Cause lately I haven't been able to see basically anything when I'm driving because uh, these lights on the snow dog, for some reason, they don't get bright enough. And uh, the headlights, they don't even come on during, uh, while I'm plowing. I don't think they're supposed to, but it would be nice to have just a little bit more light. Let me set this up. I'm going to set you guys up. You can uh, check it out while I'm trying to put this thing together. Uh, that took me about 30 minutes, so I'm gonna check it out. I'll uh, see if the light bar is working. It's pretty cold out here right now, y'all. I tried this a few other times. I shorted out the battery. It's look, it looks like it's working. Yep. Can you see that? So you can see it's cutting on and off right now. So let's see if the Jeep starts. issues with that before we got everything working we ready to go it's go time y'all snow looking crazy out here about time we got about two inches about two, two and a half inches, about to knock it out. Probably had to go back out here a little bit later on. But I'm gonna get started now because I gotta go. I actually gotta do both sides of town. So I'm gonna get started now with it. I should probably be finished. But I ain't gonna say when I be finished. I hate doing that, but I'm about to start knocking it out. I'm gonna take you with me.
y'all love my car talk, so here we go. Uh, one of a lot of people ask me, uh, would you rather do commercial properties or residential? Which one pays more? You know what I'm saying? Which one? Which one is uh, more responsibility? It's it's different with both of them. Uh, I got a few commercial properties, but I'm mainly residential uh, with my service. Uh, I tend to like residential because. Uh, a lot of times, uh, I, I got a few commercial properties. I would say maybe five, six years ago, I did them. They were, uh, I believe they were, it was one BP. I got a couple family dollars. And just uh, like some churches and things like that. What, what happened with me that kind of threw me in a residential was I, I kind of based all my money with those properties. I was making a lot of money with those properties. And then after the year after the year contract that we had, most of them let me go because they just went with a guy that was just a little bit cheaper than me. Now me basing most of my service off of that, I lost a lot of money and I didn't have many residential customers to fall back on. Now just imagine if I lose one residential customer, it doesn't hurt me that much if you got uh, 1,500 customers. If you lose one commercial, if you only got four commercial jobs and that pays as much as maybe the 1500 it's gonna it could be the end of your business honestly so i i like to stack up on residentials we throw uh commercial properties in here and there you know they have to they have to kind of like fit my business the commercial properties that we do throw in because uh for my my business we kind of we we charge up front we charge per square footage so uh, they, they'll have to pay, they have to pay in advance. Most most companies aren't gonna do that, honestly. They're residential customers you got to realize that's 1500 people that has your phone number 
that will call you over the littlest of things. I've had people call me over small blades of grass being in their driveway. You know, I mean, granted, we're supposed to clean it all the way up, but you know everybody's not perfect. One of you guys may leave a blade here and there. I mean, it's not, it's not nothing to call you over, but you get called over the stupidest things. But I mean, with the res, I mean, with the commercial, you're dealing with one property manager usually, and uh, you usually don't even get any calls unless it's an issue. Uh, that, that's a, a major benefit of commercial. Another benefit of commercial properties is. If you got one crew, they can stay in that job for a, for a whole day. That could be their only job for that whole day. And then you go into the next day, you might have another commercial account. That might be their only job for that day. What that does, is it's easy to uh, to check in on your guys. Uh, it's, it's easier as far as like equipment. Uh, you're not traveling so much travel time. You're not paying for that. Uh, you just got one crew and they're staying on that project all day, which is which is a good thing, or if not all day, four hours, they'll be on that same project and you know they're getting it done because you can check in on it easily. residential is the way to go but uh everybody business is set up different uh residential you're going to need a lot more crews you're going to need uh, a lot more equipment um it, it's just a lot more into it with residential but uh to me i mean in the long run don't don't get caught up and uh get lost on a commercial job you see on youtube all the time those guys talking about they started their company uh they grew kind of big it's a it's a lot of companies like that they had a a commercial property a bunch of commercial properties or they had a a whole uh a whole like a just a whole bunch of different uh commercial type properties and uh they say they they had it for two or three years you see their business booming and stuff like that then they disappear on youtube usually because they lost that account and they didn't have many residentials to fall back on so they kind of growing their business again and that actually after you lose a bunch of those big commercial accounts you probably probably lose the passion for lawn care because you kind of 
start all the way over with everything. So you want to watch out for that. So for me, like I said, residential is the way to go. Thank <laughs> you. 